Hello everyone. Welcome to Filmizer. Today, I will show you a 2013 psychological thriller movie titled, Borgman. The movie opens with the words. And they came down to the earth, to strengthen their ranks. The movie starts in an isolated village in Netherlands, with a man dressing up and getting his guns ready, and he goes to a church. Then the group of men, along with the priest are armed, and they make their way toward a forest. A man who lives in an underground hideout, hears the footsteps of a group approaching. He sneaks outside with a pipe, then he makes a phone call, but no one answers. One of the group members, starts poking an iron rod in the ground. Then the priest aggressively grabs an axe, and starts destroying the hideout, making it collapse. The man beneath the ground uses a smoke grenade to escape, and cause distraction. He then runs from there within the underground tunnel, followed by the armed priest. He sneaks out and runs from there. After a bit, he stops and taps on the ground notifying his friend Ludwig, about the intruders, and warns him to answer the phone next time. He then taps the ground again, and he notifies another friend Pascal. The man is named Camille Borgman, and he makes his way to the gas station. He washes his face, and then he makes his way to a rich neighborhood. He goes to a mansion, and then he asks the lady if he can take a shower there. The lady closes the door in his face. Disappointed Camille, walks from there to another mansion. He observes the mansion, it has a guest house as well. He rings the bell, and Richard opens the door. Camille introduces himself as a fake name Anton, and asks him if he can take a shower there. Richard denies it and wants him to leave. Anton says that he is just a traveler who needs some help. Richard closes the door, then Anton claims that he is a friend of Richard's wife. They both open the door this time, and she cannot recall knowing anyone named Anton. He claims further that he knows Marina, and she nursed him while he was in the hospital. Richard pushes him away, and Anton asks if he is doing this because he knows his wife. Richard heats up and starts kicking him, he then beats him with a stick. He asks her how she knows him, and if she is hiding things behind his back. But she denies everything and reminds him about their promise of always being honest. However, she feels bad for the homeless man. Later that day, the babysitter for the kids named Stein, arrives there and Richard is seen reading a story to his kids. He then informs Marina that he has some urgent work. Once he leaves, Marina sees a light, so she sneaks out and she goes to the guest house, but she finds it empty. She then opens the garage, and she finds Camille there. She then takes him to the guest house and does the medic for him. The babysitter Stein shows up there, and Marina orders her not to tell anyone that she is going to allow the homeless men to take a shower there. Later, Anton is seen enjoying the tub and having a meal, then she gives him a pair of clothes. She is driven by guilt that Richard harmed an innocent man, so she allows him to stay in the guest house. The next day their elder daughter is sick, so she stays at home and Stein takes the kids out. She sees Anton sneaking on them and tells her mother that she saw a magician. Then Marina goes to the guest house. She suggests that he should leave, and she can drop him to a private clinic if needed. He denies it by saying his heart is in pain from the misbehavior and he promises to stay locked in the room. He begs her to stay for a few more days and have some food. She agrees and leaves. Anton gets a text saying, has the time come yet? And he replies not yet. Later that day, Anton is taking a bath and Marina's daughter shows up. He offers her to read a fairy tale but she leaves. Richard comes back home and gives Marina a beautiful necklace. However, she looks more disappointed than happy. Later that night Marina goes to the guest house with dinner. She goes inside but the room is empty. She finds a pair of binoculars and realizes that their house is fully seen from there. Meanwhile, Anton is inside the house, and he is reading a bedtime story to all three kids as he promised earlier. Marina shows up and asks him to take her seriously and not to enter the house as he promised. Later, Marina dreams that Richard is beating her in a very brutal manner. The next day, she goes to the guest house but she finds it empty. She then goes to the woods and sees Anton leaving. She asks him why is he leaving. 
He claims that he is tired of living inside the room and he wants to eat food with them on the table. She says it's not possible, but she wants him to stay. Then he inquires about the family gardener. Later he calls a woman named Ilanka and Brenda. He tells them about an assignment that they need to do. He then takes some poison out of his bag and prepares a weapon. He then observes the gardener and shoots him with his weapon. The gardener is suffering and falls to the ground. Anton goes to him and offers to take him home. He drives the gardener's car and arrives at his home. The gardener's wife is putting a warm towel on his head and Anton says that he already called a team of doctors, and they should be on their way. In the wife's absence, he knocks the gardener down. The women who called earlier show up, as a pair of doctors. Brenda is pretending to check the gardener, and Anton takes off his tie. Ilanka strangles the gardener's wife from behind, killing her. Then they take two buckets and put the couple's head in them and fill it with cement. At home, Marina finds a shoe and starts collecting everything, and gets rid of the shoe. Later, the group is seen watching TV in the gardener's home. The next day, they use the gardener's car and go to a lake, where they dump the bodies with cement buckets. A few hours later, Pascal gets a call from Anton, and they make a sinister plan. The next day, Ludwig and Pascal take down a man who tries to come to the house for a gardener job. Another applicant goes to the house, but Richard says no and closes the door. Later that day, Anton is in a fresh look and identifies himself as Camille, who comes to the house for a gardener job. Richard cannot recognize him, and invites him inside the house. Marina recognizes him, she is impressed and excited. Stein is on the way with the kids, and the little girl notices a body outside the house. Upon arrival, she goes to the woods, and she finds the man badly injured. She then brings a giant stone and kills him with it. In the house, Richard shows Camille the house and hires him for the job. That night Marina finds her daughter's favorite teddy bear turned apart. The next day she asks her who did it. Her daughter is aggressive and she says it was fun doing it, which makes Marina yell at her. In meantime, the ladies dump one more body in the lake, and then Ilanka takes a bath in the same lake. At the house, excited Marina goes to Camille and asks him how many names he has. Strangely he replies that he is busy, and needs to concentrate on work. She brought food for him, but he's not interested anymore. Later, Marina goes to the guest house, and Camille demands that he needs his team of gardeners, so he introduces Ludwig and Pascal to her. Later that night, Camille is telling the kids a story against their faith, to manipulate them. Later, Marina wakes up and starts arguing with Richard, claiming that he was beating her again in her nightmare and then she leaves. She then goes to Camille at the guest house. She wants him to kiss her but he is not interested, and he asks her to have patience and she'll get everything. The next day, Stein didn't show up to work and the kids are late for school. So Ludwig and Pascal take them, then they both take them to an abandoned bunker. Inside, they offer them some drinks and Ludwig opens a pair of scalpels. At the house, Stein brings her boyfriend Arthur to meet Marina. The kids are back but they look tired and sleepy. Richard gets home for lunch, he orders to have some flowers on his dining table. Stein is sent to the backyard to get the flowers. There, Pascal tells her that he will only give her flowers if she goes inside the guest house. Later, it's been hours and Stein is not back, so Arthur goes to check on her, but she is not in the guest house. She comes back with a different attitude. Pascal did magic on her and she looks strange. Arthur tries to comfort her, but she is aggressive. Then Richard corners Marina and gives her a bad news that he is fired from work. Later at dinner, everyone seems strange and upset. Marina asks Arthur what his father does for living, he replies his father owns the Q company. Upon hearing that, Richard rages up and he reveals it to everyone that his father fired him. Then he starts insulting Arthur. They get into a fight and Ludwig takes him down. Stein is compelled by Pascal and she wants to cuddle with him, but he calmly rejects her and asks her to leave. In meantime, Ludwig dumps unconscious Arthur on the side of the road. The next day, Stein informs Marina that all three children are ill. Marina then calls their family doctor. Upon hearing that, 
Stein goes to Pascal and tells them about it. Later, the ladies go to the family doctor and take him down. Then they show up to the house as his substitute. Later, Pascal gives Stein the same orange drink and that makes her fall asleep. Ludwig comes to the room with the set of tools, and he performs a surgery on her. Camille is seen sitting on top of Marina, and she gets a nightmare that her husband is forcing and torturing her. She wakes up and starts fighting with Richard and he overpowers her. Once he leaves, she goes to Camille and she orders him to kill Richard. Later that night, she goes to Richard and asks him if he needs a drink. Camille then mixes the poison in the drink. Their daughter goes and gives him the drink and he hugs her then she leaves. Later, Richard gets inside the house. The sinister group is watching them from the guest house, and Richard dies in front of Marina. Then Camille goes inside the house with the whole group, and he introduces her to the group. Later, she takes him to a room and expresses her love to him, and wants to kiss him but he denies it calmly. Later, he turns on the music and invites Brenda to dance with him in front of Marina's astonished eyes. So she took her drink and sat in the car outside. Meanwhile, Ludwig and Pascal tie Richard's body and dump him in the water. Later, Camille puts poison in Marina's drink, then she lies on the bed. He gives her a kiss and leaves. The ladies dump her body as well. Later, Camille is seen walking with all three kids, along with the babysitter and his sinister group towards the forest. He looks at the now abandoned mansion and he leaves. Subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.